Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wet Shaving with Angelo. I'm Angelo, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave. And I'm going to be shaving with some new new items, well, new to me items, at least. First off, the, an item that's not new to me, but I've used several times, the Phoenix Arsenal Accoutrements Green Ray Synthetic 24mm Triple Synth, synth Triple Brush. Or, or simply put, the Green Ray Brush by PAA. Synthetic 24 millimeter knot. Very, and I must say, the, 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 the bristles are super soft, like, like feathery soft almost. So I'm going to be using that. Hardware wise, blade of choice is going to be a Kai blade in my newly acquired Gillette pre war tech razor. Now, the pre war tech razors were manufactured between 1939, which is the year of my Bubby's birth. And they ceased production in, I believe, 1945-1946. And, and I found this on eBay for a reasonable price, and it's in excellent condition, as you can see. Beautifully made. A little heavier than my post-war tech, as the post-war tech may have been more of an aluminum base, where this is, this feels a little bit brassy, like brass weight to it. So, and they say the pre-war tech is more aggressive than its, than its, it's more aggressive than the one that came later, the post-war tech. So I'm going to give that a spin with the Kai Blade. And I, and I placed an order with the Time Barber a while back, and I got a, quite a few shave soaps and aftershaves from their brand Razor Rock. And today's soap and splash of choice, Razor Rock Z Pepino. The scent of Z Pepino is green tobacco, or also known as Tobacco Verde. And this soap base, at least according to Razor Rock's website, is their super formula which includes such ingredients as shea butter, argan oil, aloe vera, and lanolin. And for those that may not know, I'm a very good, very big fan of tobacco-scented soaps and splashes. And this is just a lovely scented soap. So I'm going to wet the face and start lathering up for the first pass with the green. So how's everyone doing out there today? Here in Philadelphia, it's mighty cold. It's like 34 degrees out right now. Feels like it's in the 20s. In my neck of the woods in Philadelphia, I, I have not seen snow yet, knock on wood. How about, how, how about everyone else out there? Anyone else seen snow so, yet this, this season or whatever, you know? Anyone else seen any snow that, this month or in the last few weeks? Let us know in the comments. But yeah, it's mighty cold here in Philadelphia. 34 degrees Fahrenheit, feeling like it's in the 20s. And I, even though I don't do my videos with Razor Rock Shave Soaps, I am a very v good fan of their soaps. Because for the price you pay, they're very, they're like, for one thing, Razor Rock Shave Soaps are reasonably priced. Like, the regular Shave Soaps are av on average $7 to $8 a tub. If you buy their triple milled What the Puck Shave Soaps, then you're paying even less and you're averaging about 4 or $5 a pack of soap. But yeah, Razor Rock Shave Soaps, not only are they super affordable, they're super efficient. They lather easily, smell fantastic, and just look at that lather. Look, just just starting to build a nice lather with a nice wet brush. Oh, it's, it's just nice and creamy and slick. Everything good about a good lather. This is what you want to have a good shave soap. Whether, whether it be a high-end or... Even budget friendly like Razor Rock, you want it to be you want it to be creamy, you want it to be slick and thick, and you want it to smell good to you, and and those around you. And I can definitely tell this is an improvement on their prior formula. Because this is even slicker than this, my older Razor Rock soaps that I bought last year in June. Just a nice creamy lather. They really, it seems like they nailed it out of the park right off the bat. But I got, I got where I got enough water on my brush, one or the other.
and dry off my hands so I don't drop this brush that's, I mean, drop this razor that is all, as old or almost as old as my puppy. First pass with the grain. No drama so far, but that's just the beginning of the shave. And the kai blade's just mowing through the stubble. And for those wondering, I have a little over a day's worth of stubble. Like, probably about 26 or 27 hours worth of stubble on my face. Which for someone else, it may be like a day and a half, two days, because my, my facial hair grows crazy fast. And it's very thick. Plain post shave slickness left from this Razor Rock shave suit. The Zee Papino. And, it's like, and for those that are fans of tobacco scents, this is definitely one. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. And for those that, for those that are a little hesitant to buy tobacco scented shave soap, understand that tobacco scented doesn't mean cigarettes. Doesn't mean ashtray scent. Like most of the time when artisans use tobacco in scents in their soaps and aftershaves, what they mean, what, what they reference to in tobacco wise is the plant, tobacco plant or tobacco flower, which is very, how should I put this? It's very earthy, very aromatic, and very pleasant. Complete opposite of an ashtray. So I know when I started delving into artisan shave soaps, I, for a while, avoided anything with tobacco in it because I thought, oh, it must smell like an ashtray, but I was wrong on that end. It's very old-worldly, I'll say. For lack of a better term. Like, it's, it's aromatic, earthy. It's hard for me to describe scents sometimes. But it's very pleasant to my nose. That was the end of the first pass. We're going to re-lather. Re I'm going to re-wet the face, lather up, and go for the second pass across the grain. So, so uh, everyone out there on YouTube land, having any good shaves so far today or late last few days? Have a, ha, let me phrase that. Has everyone out there been having good shaves lately these days? Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Did did you pay, did you buy yourself something for the holiday season that you're putting away for like Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever? I know I personally have bought a few things that, I'm, that I have put away. For Christmas and Hanukkah, because I celebrate both holidays, as well as my birthday is in December. So I have a few things put away for all those holidays. Actually, part of my razor, part of my Italian barber order that I got a few days ago, which includes this Z Pepino soap and splash, I put a few items of, the, of my Italian barber order away for birthday or holiday, what whatnot, including Blue Barber Shop Aftershave Splash and Santa Maria. Del Fiore, Soap and Splash. Just, I'm loving the... This has to be the new formula that Razor Rock is talking about. Because this is super creamy, super slick. Just an excellent soap for what you pay.
I mean, last I checked on Razor on ItalianBarber.com, this soap normally sells for about eight dollars a tub. Not a bad price at all, especially for the excellent performance you get out of it. I mean, this I mean, Razor Rock soaps are known for their high quality performance. And I can attest to that, because anytime I use a Razor Rock soap, I'm always happy with the results. Okay, rinse off the fingers and dry them off so I don't drop my razor again, like I, like I always say. Just a nice... It feels, on my face at least, it feels very nice, creamy, and slick. And I'll try to leave a I'll leave, I'll I'll do it with what I leave there. and I'll try to leave websites on my description of this episode. Or I'll leave the websites of where I've got the brush and the shave soap and aftershave for those that are curious about it. Like whether you're curious about the PAA Green Ray Shave Brush or even the Z Papino Razor Up from Razor Rock. I'll leave the websites I bought them from. Uh, and for those that are curious about Razor Rock and don't know much about them, they've been around for a few years, and the soaps and the, and the Razor Rock products are generally, the soaps at least, are made in Italy. But Italian Barber, the, the retailer of, of Razor Rock products, that, that, that company's, that, that website's located in Canada. But as far as I know, Italian Barber is like one of the... Exclusive vendors of Razor Rock soaps and their razors and whatnot. So if you want to look for Razor Rock products outside of Amazon or eBay, check out ItalianBarber.com. Nice shave so far. Two passes down, one to go. We're going to go to the third pass against the green. And see how it goes from there. I'm trying to put a little water on my brush to get more moisture in it. But I'm loving this shave so far. This is the first time I'm using the post I mean, pre correction. This is the first time I'm using the pre-war Gillette Tech. First time I'm using Z Papino Shave Soap and After Shave by Razor Rock. And I'm loving every minute of it. I'm really loving every minute of it. And this new formula of Razor Rock seems very superior to the prior formula. It's just easier to lather, easier to lather. Like I've been saying, super slick, super creamy, plenty of cushion there. I forgot to mention there's plenty of cushion with this soup. 
which protects your face from the blade. So it gives, like the cushion is basically like a, a protective barrier between your face and the blade. As far as I know. I was hoping originally that my Gillette Heritage Razor would have been shipped by now. But as many of you have heard, Gillette and Amazon postponed shipment of the Heritage Razor from November 1st. Now we're waiting until November 17th or not. I should get mine possibly between November, now they're saying November 22nd to 25th. I know some guys canceled their orders, but I'm holding on to mine because I just wanted to see what Gillette has to offer for their first DE razor in the US market in 31 years. I'm that curious. This is just a fantastic shave soap. And for eight bucks, you can't go wrong with Razor Rock. And some of their soaps are even cheaper than that. Like I said, their triple milled What the Puck shave soaps go for four or five dollars a puck, and those are excellent shave soaps. Just goes to show you, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get an excellent lather going. Or phrase that. Just goes to show you, you don't have to spend a ton of money to get a great shave. Just an excellent shave today. Today has been an excellent shave so far. Almost done. The third and final pass. And I'm just going to say this has been an excellent shave. I finished the third pass. Now I'm going to just do a little touch up with the styptic pencil because just a few tiny little nicks that could have been lack of technique at points. Let's see. Not much damage though. Not actually, even with the Kai blade, very minimal damage. Very minimal. But then again, tech razors are known for being very mild. All in all, an excellent shave, I have to say. Now I'm going to rinse off my face, dry it off, and put on the matching aftershave splash of Z Pepino by Razor Rock.
And here's the matching aftershave, Zipapino by Razor Rock. And, I'm, and this smells, just out of the bottle, smells fantastic. Nice. Little burn, not too much, but then again, I probably didn't cut myself up too, oh, oh I'm feeling the burn now. Feeling the burn now, yeah. Well, that's it for today, everybody. I want to wish you all a good day and a good shave. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time.